In this iMindMap video tutorial, I will demonstrate how you can use the inbuilt styles to change the way your mind map looks. This is a, this is a brilliant feature to use to really personalize your map. If you are using a Windows, simply navigate to the Design tab at the top of your window, or if you are using a Mac, this will appear on the main toolbar. You then have the flexibility to use the pre-made styles to change the appearance of your map. If I scroll down, you can see that you have a wide variety. To apply the style, you simply need to click on it and it will automatically be applied for you, like so. If you decide that you want to go back to the default setting, the top left is usually the default. If you click there, the default will be applied for you. In addition to the pre-made styles, you also have just preset colors, fonts, graphics and layout that you are able to choose from. These are shown on the right hand side. These, instead of changing the whole style of your map, will change just the color, font, graphic or the layout. For example, with color, if I click on the drop down menu, you can see that you have a huge variety of different color selections to choose from. If I choose Aqua, for example, and click on it, you will see that straight away that's applied to my map. You have exactly the same for fonts as well, so you have a variety of fonts that you can choose from. This is the same for the layout, where you can see you have lots of different types which will change the shape of your branches. For example, a linear. This can be a very good option to use if you have a business client that you're going to be pitching to. Lastly, you also have the graphics. These change the shape and thickness of your branch and can also add shadowing, like so. If you wish to save a style that you've created, like I've just done, you can simply click on Save Style, name the style, and click on Save. You can then see that it's been added to the range of styles for you. You have even more flexibility in that you can create your own different set of colors, fonts, graphics and layout so you can really maximize the use of your styles. To use colors as an example, if I click down on colors and go create new color option, you can see that I have a range of different branches and I can then select the colors for the branch that I would like. So I simply click on branch one for example, I can select a purple, click on OK and that will be applied and I can go through and do that for every branch. Once I've done that again I can save it so this can be colors one and click on save. Then as with the styles if I click on colors you can see that the color settings that I created have then been applied within my colors selection. This can be exactly the same for graphics, fonts and layout. Lastly, if you want to add a little bit more flexibility and impact to your map, you can also change the background color. To do this, simply click on the down arrow and you can select from any of the colors that you have preset or in custom or standard. Select the color you would like, click OK and it will be applied to your map for you.